Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video where today we're going to watch Cardiff City versus Reading in the Championship. Now, last time around when we played Reading, of course, it was in the Cup. We drew 1-1 and we should have definitely won that, even though you could say Reading fielded a weaker side. We, we seem to be getting momentum now. We got a really good victory against uh, West Brom last week with, with Lee Tomlin. What a free kick. I really need to get that vlog out at some point. Need to edit it. Um, and as for the uh, Reading fixture away, we did go to it as well. Uh, link in the description below to that. Once again, I'm joined by this man as well. Have the city. So Twitch channel, link in the description below. What do you think about today then? Uh, tonight, I think it's going to be a very tough match. I think it's going to be tougher than the West Brom game on Tuesday evening. Uh, I think everybody's full of confidence and that could set a bit of a trap for us, really. Uh, Reading, okay, up until a few weeks ago, I think their form was very good. I, I'm not sure what it was. They won five out of seven or something like that. A little bit stuttery recently. From the last game that we played against Reading as well, I think they made 11 changes for the uh, the FA Cup match. So it's going to be a totally different team coming up against Cardiff, who fielded a fairly strong team. So it's, it's, it's only going to be one goal in it. I'm going to go for a 1-0 victory to Cardiff. Patterson starts up front instead of Glatz. So we've got Hoyler and uh, White on the wing. Volks in the centre midfield with Pack and Tomlin. So hopefully we'll get a positive result and send everyone home on a Friday evening happy. Indeed. Yeah, with the team news as well, uh, Jazz Richard starts once again. I'm not sure if Peltier is still injured or, or whether the rumours are true where he is going to West Brom, but hopefully he'll have a better game than last time at least, where he did cost us that penalty, of course. And uh, Glatzel has been relegated to the bench this time, but Patterson did play really well, has been playing really well in the last two games. If he can get form up front with Tomlin, White and Hoyle, it should all gel. All we need to do in his transfer deadline is not tonight as well, so hopefully if we get Albert Adoma in, who we're uh, linked with as well, and fingers crossed if we're really lucky as well, get a central midfielder. That would be my dream window, but I can't see that. Let's get on with it. Come on, City.
so that's the end of the first half. We're down one 0 at the moment. Um, after that second, after that first goal, went in, I'd say sort of improved a little bit, tighten up the defence, but there's still more work than definitely needs to be done. We really need to tighten up the defence, make sure that nothing, uh, nothing more goes through because they look really dangerous when they get balls into the box and all the passing through and everything. So as long as we can do that and try and get more shots in and everything, see if we can get a few more on target then. I think we might have a chance of maybe sneaking a draw, maybe a win, but who knows, what do you think? Yeah, Cardiff not really in the game. Okay, we've had a couple of shots and Tomlin fired sort of over and wide. And apart from that, not too much to shout about from the Cardiff point of view. Maybe a couple of headers, but um, Swift for Reading, controlling the midfield, really very good player. But um, I think we need to bring Kuna on um, and take him out of the game, really. But um, yeah, I think that the, well, the first half was marked by that scummy fan from Reading as well. And, be a long time ban coming for him. Um, apart from that, hopefully, yeah, Cardiff get in the change room now, three groups second half, and come out all guns blazing. Two subs of Cardiff at half time, off comes both wingers, Gavin White, Andrew Hoyle, and on comes Bakuna and uh, Danny Ward. So, I'm not sure what system there. System Neil Harris is going for here, but let's hope it works and we can get some goals. Yeah, ball moved by Harris, uh, pretty okay. Oh. Okay, so that's the end of the game. Very unlucky, really. How did we not get that penalty at the end? I mean, just explain. Well, I don't know. It was in the corner of my eye. It looks like Pat Patterson was wrestled to the ground in those five, you know, in the closing stages of the match. Um, yeah, first half, you could say that Reddy had the majority of the play, the better of the play, controlled the midfield. Um, is it Swift? I think I mentioned at half time him. I can't remember the other guy in the centre midfield, but they totally dominated um, those middle areas. Then the second half, Harris was bold. He made a double substitution, taking off the, both the wingers, Hoyler and White, bringing on Bakuna and Ward, and it really made a difference. Uh, Cardiff took over the midfield in that second half, and you could say for long periods of that second half, dominated. Very unlucky not to score. Um, came back, Patterson again, I think that's his third goal now in three matches um, brilliant at front never stopped working and really could have should have maybe got a couple I think um, Tomlin as well did a bit of an air kick when he, he looked like he was uh, certain to score but uh, yeah unlucky Cardiff I'm not sure who to give the um, man of the match award to possibly Vokes but I thought Bakuna when he came on was was very good and like I say Patterson worked tirelessly so just, I think, just to Volks. Uh, yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably going to even give it to Volks or Pass. And I thought uh, Volks played really well. He's doing consistently well and shows that he does deserve a place in that team. And Patterson scoring goals as usual. I think he should be given a few games now uh, to see if he is that true striker we're looking for. And what about those idiots today as well? <laughs> yeah, well, I think it was two Cardiff fans ejected. Right um, by us, one there. Yeah, not far from us. I'm not sure that you had a difference, disagreement or something. Um, another one running on the pitch, an absolute prat. Probably get a ban now for how long, I don't know. And, well, we've already touched on the absolute scum of a Reading fan in the, the Reading end as well. I, I, I'd be 
well, I'm embarrassed. I'd be fan. embarrassed to have a fan like that, really. But uh, yeah, looking forward now to um, Tuesday. I think it is. We play Reading mm -hmm. for the third time. He's Reading. Hopefully, we'll get the victory to take us into the fifth round of the FA Cup. Indeed, yeah, fingers crossed. I wonder what team they're going to put out for the uh, replay as well. See what we put out, see if uh, Harry's yeah, got Luton next Saturday as well. So Yeah, that's a tricky game. Very, you know, <laughs> these games are coming real thick and fast, they say. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, but um, yeah, we'll be interested to see what Team Harris puts out, who he gives chances to, if Etheridge will play, if he puts full strength out, who knows, but... So guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like, and if this is the first ever video you see my me, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button for more super cool content like this. What an idiot. Follow me on my social medias in the description below, and I'll see you all next time against Reading again. Hoyle Val.